The rifle in front of me is really a game changer. This is the DPMS G2. Now the particular variant I have is the LRT SAS, and that's for semi-automatic sniping system. This is a 7.62 by 51 NATO rifle. It looks like a regular AR, but it's really the big brother to the 5.56 rifles. DPMS has been in the 7.62 AR business for a long time, but the G2 incorporates a lot of changes that really make this gun stand out. What DPMS did was look at the whole 7.62 system and try and find ways to maintain that 7.62 cartridge, but to shrink things down. One of the things that they did was make this a lot more adaptable to 5.56 platforms. The nut at the front, completely new, and it allows the use of most AR type forends. On the back end, you don't have to use a proprietary AR-10 style buttstock. In particular, this is a standard Magpul PRS, fully adjustable. Okay, this gun comes with a 20-inch bull barrel made of 416 stainless steel, rifled at one turn in 10 inches. The forend is machined out of 7029 aluminum, and of course, with the rail on top, gives you a lot of room for mounting optics and other accessories. Like all the other G2 rifles, this particular variant takes DPMS's proprietary 20-round detachable box magazine. This gun comes with Magpul backup iron sights. Of course, they're made out of polymer. The sight itself, of course, is metal. But it's got a set of sights there if you need them. But this gun is really meant to be used with optics. We mounted a loophole. We've mounted other scopes on this gun. And in our testing, the whole line of G2 rifles has proven to be remarkably accurate. How accurate? Sometimes as low as half a minute of angle. This gun come, clocks in at 12.6 pounds, but it's got a lot of accessories. You've got the full length rail, of course you have the upgraded grip, you've got the palm stop here, and of course a Magpul buttstock. This is a gun designed for precision. DPMS really changed things up on the inside, in particular to the bolt and the bolt carrier. When you pop this bolt out, you'll see that the lugs have all been radiused, so it's a little different geometry there, but also the bolt carrier is the same diameter, the full length. They also changed out the extractor. There are two ejectors, and the extractor spring is actually made of elastomer, not a wire. So DPMS's engineers really looked at the whole AR-10 style or 7.62 version of the AR, and they brought changes to make this gun smaller and lighter. They were able to use off-the-shelf components when it comes to the forend and to the butt, and they really spent their time really not just changing the AR platform to 7.62, but making all of these parts specifically around the 7.62 NATO cartridge. This gun is the big brother of the line, but when you look at guns like the Hunter and the Recon, really what you have is 7.62 by 51 NATO power in a package that's not much larger than a standard 5.56 AR. With its G2 rifles, DPMS has changed up the entire game when it comes to 308 Winchester AR rifles. They're lighter, they're handier, they work well, and best of all, they shoot remarkably well.